A reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah culture of the uh, King James Version of the Holy Bible. This is the Gullah Bible. Put on some glasses here. Why? Well, because the font is pretty small for the King James Version, at least, and the Gullah's a little bit bigger. See, King James Gullah. Uh, and what we do is we just pick a spot. We keep on going back and on. Go forward now, and uh, we just open it up and and we read. Uh, the purpose of this, well, well, let me, well, the purpose is just basically a, I come from a, a my maternal side says Gullah Geechee, and it, and I was just wondering how we, the newly freed enslaved folks were thinking of how, how they, in very quick order, from the end of the nineteenth century to the very beginning of this twentieth century, they uh, learned to be they were literate. They learned to be literate and uh, make great prize what a lot of them did. And so I just thought I'd, you know, experience that. So let's go to uh, Matthew 22. Might as well go to the top. Uh, to one. Matthew 22, one on page uh, 81. Just they thank the, the people uh, in parable Jin. Oh, that's pretty short. Uh, chapter 22 again. This is uh, one. That's page 81. And Jesus answered and spoke unto them again in parables and said, thing. so uh, again, the, uh, the, the Gullah reads, reads, reads such, uh, Jettis, the tank, the, 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 the people in parable jinn. Uh, and it reads again, the translation is, and Jesus answered and spoke unto them again by parables and said, there you go. I'm reading. Well, well, I read it, my eye being T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. 